Good day, my creative souls. First of all, I want to thank you for being here. Have you seen my beautiful new logo? Yep, that's right, I made it myself. It's been a while since I uploaded. I've kind of been working on other things, like my digital art for example. If you want to look, you can visit my deviant art. The links are all in the notes on the bottom. Today I'm working on this cutie named Pepper. As per usual, I'm using my Stanley Soft Pastel Sticks to layer my first layer of pastel. So I will have a nice base layer to work on. After that I'll be using my Faber-Castell pastel pencils for detailing. Because I start with a base layer, with lights and darks, it's easier for me to actually get a nice shading on the pads once I grab my pastel pencils. This way I don't have to spend all my pastel pencils for building up layers, so I actually have them longer than some other people who work on pet portraits with pastels. One might ask, how do I keep my hands clean while working? Well, as you can see, I work mainly from the top left to top right and then I move down in that manner. If I need to go back in the painting for whatever reason, I just use a little paper that between my hands and the painting. I generally use the paper that comes in the pastel mats booklet between each page, but as an alternative you can use baking paper. If you do smudge, you should be able to easily remove that with a kneaded eraser. I always work on the eyes and small details like whiskers and eyelashes last. It feels really good to lay a hand on last details, you'll see it all come together. Before I start working on a portrait, I do a breathing exercise or a meditation and then I will use my intuition to choose music while I work because I do have some music on in the background. The music will fit the feeling that I have with the pet. Some pets have more of an active beat and others have more of a soft piano music. I feel that this will influence the overall vibe of the portrait. The most important thing for me is the recognition of one's pet. Tuning into the pet is an important part of my work. I'm not just drawing them out, I'm feeling into them. A clear sentient gift, if you will. You will see me wrapping up the portrait in the end. Unfortunately, I don't film them because I only have limited space in my house. However, I kind of want to do this in the future, but for now, I'll leave that up to the receiving end. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this pet version of Pepper. I'll see you all later. Have a good day or night wherever you are in the world. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Twitch for more live painting. And I'll see you all next time. Bye!
now that we've come to the end of the video, I want to thank you for watching it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you like it, share it with your friends. I wish you a good day wherever you are in the world and see you later.